You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit at the Fuse 2022 event in Madrid. And joining me now is Caroline Chan, who is Vice President of the Network and Edge Group at Intel and also a TIP board member. Caroline, very good to see you again. First thing I'd like to ask you though is why is Intel an active participant in TIP? Well, Intel definitely sees the benefit of a consortium that coming together, not just talk about and advocate for the open and disaggregated network. This group, TIP, is actually the doers. We're putting together the white box, we're putting together a prototype, we solve the interoperability issue. For us, this shows the path to take our product, our silicon and our software, through a system integrator to go to market. We see the value not just in what TIP represents, but it's all TIP delivers. It is to us a sure path to unite a diverse ecosystem together and take the open and disaggregated network and edge. So how has TIP helped Intel so far overcome some of the challenges that Intel faces in this area? Open RAN is a very good example. TIP, take every, everyone together. We recently just, we will be working with TIP to deliver a open RAN compliant remote radio head, RU. That's a very good example what TIP can enable somebody like Intel can do. It's to take our platform and combine that with ecosystem and deliver something that's badly needed by the market, which is providing a open RAN compliant radio. So help us with the go-to-market, help us with uniting the ecosystem, and also let us take it not just today's uh, plan of record, but also deliver tomorrow's plan to, of a product. Well, the industry is changing so much. I'd like to know, you know, what's next for you in your open and disaggregated journey? A couple of things. I think the open disaggregated journey point us to that having a connectivity that's widely adopted by the ecosystem and also interoperable. Let us take the market, for example, things like artificial intelligence, things like machine learning, and not just in the public network, but also allow us to take combined connectivity and edge and AI taking to the enterprise, which is a huge growth area. Because traditionally, you and I know 5G, 4G typically only gets deployed in the public network, which is great, serves a lot of consumer space, but it's missing the part of digital transformation that most of the enterprise are undergoing. So with the IoT, that's, that's projected to be a very high CAGR segment. We wanted to participate in that. Industrial, retail, smart ports, uh, utilities, all of the undergoing transformation. So what we have done together with the TIP members in the open RAN, in the open core side, we want to take that to the enterprise. Great, and, and this is an example of, of how this, this market is, is evolving at, at a rapid rate. Um, you, you covered a number of areas there, but are there any key areas in particular that you think the industry and the TIP community should be focusing on in the coming years? So one thing we just kick off inside TIP is something called Metaverse Ready Network. It's a very hot area. You know, today we have AR, XR, digital twins, and what could we do even more now that we have 5G and people are already talk about 6G? and combine that with AI. What can we do to make our network more secure, more robust, such that when Metaverse comes, that we as a connectivity partners are ready for it. So this is a new area that, that TIP is heavily invested in. We announced the work group. We're receiving significant interest, Intel included. We'll participate in that. Definitely, I think, for 2023, TIP will continue focusing on our mission, which is providing this open network. In addition, we're going to be focusing on taking the network to the next phase, such as Metaverse. To do this though, um, are there still some challenges that need to be overcome as, as, as we continue and, and expand our disaggregation activities? Yeah, that, for sure. Uh, today at the, at the uh, uh, conference, in fact, uh, 
Tip just announced this collaboration with ORAN Alliance. We're going to be focusing on a lot of system integration activities, taking this Lego box, Lego pieces together back into this, the box again, functional, interoperable. Um, those are the challenges we're facing. When you have open to segregate, somebody had to put it back together, Tip will play that role, providing white boxes and recipes and blueprints and POCs and John Labs. We also work across the uh, the world with different uh, government entities. Uh, U.S. being one very good example, there's a government funding coming down. You know, TIP will actively work with our members to make ensure that the government funding tied in with the commercial interests, what's needed in the market. Um, so really, in summary, interoperability, system integration, uh, providing the services and application to our members such that we can join it together, not just deliver a network, but the network actually have a commercial interest, commercial usage in the big market space. Exciting times. Caroline, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.